Hello, good day, DLI Channel Development, Empowerment, and Leadership Initiative. This is an NGO where we are very, very passionate about world transformation, and we believe we will start one man at a time, one community at a time. On this channel, going to two years now, we have taken series of topics all in the name of helping you become a better you so that very soon you too can start living your dream. I sincerely hope that we have made some difference to you in your journey. Last week on the Entrepreneurship Made Simple, we landed our conversation on organizational life cycle. And this week, before I get into another big area that has to do with change management, and some of those very heavy-duty topics. I would like to just quickly speak about a few things that are necessary for an entrepreneur to succeed in his entrepreneurship quest. And today, I want to talk about something that is so, so fundamental, something that we've mentioned in passing, we've hinted about, we've gone a bit around it, but we've never put it together as a single body of knowledge, and that is people management. I'm sure you understand why I said it's extremely important. Why? You know that for all the noise about artificial intelligence, for all the noise about the capital that you need to start your business, the only asset that you have that produces anything for you is your human asset. And therefore, as an entrepreneur, you need to do more than lip service to looking after your people. Now, let me be real with you. When you are about starting, I am not sure many of the things I am telling you now will be easy for you to add to your bouquet of troubles when you're about to start. Why? When you are starting, your headache is primarily around the problem that you are trying to solve. You are worried about, will you be able to solve it? Will you be able to solve it in a commercial manner? All the obstacles of registration, finding the customer, servicing the customer. Probably you are even all alone by yourself getting these things done. So even though we're going to be talking about them as if there are things you need to do before you start, that is in the ideal world. But somebody said something a while back and said, the time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but the next best time is now. What am I saying? I'm saying that where you are unable, and expectedly so, to get many of these things done before you really start, remember that you should not go too far before you deal with what we're about to talk about today. I mean, where you are unable to start before, where you are unable to deal with this thing before you start, let it not be too far away, whether it's still in the startup phase or in the growth phase. You need to quickly, quickly, quickly deal with this and ensure that it is properly dealt with. And what are the things I'm talking about? I'm going to take you through five critical things that you need to worry about when it comes to people management. And believe me, if you will succeed, whether in the short term, in the medium term, in the long term, or whether your business is even going to outlive you, it's all a function of how you deal and attend to the things that I'm about to talk about starting this week. So, what are those things that you need to worry about when it has to do with your people? Number one is to be deliberate about your organizational design. What do I mean by organizational design? You need to worry about who is reporting to who, what is the job role, what is the reporting line, what is the level of delegation of authority, how do you find the balance between efficiency and control, all those little, little things that helps you to see how the organization fits together for you to achieve the result that you are chasing. The organizational design is very, very important. 
And usually, it is something that you do by yourself with a consultant or with a few people who understand the business. And let me let you know quickly, it's never static, it's never cast in concrete. Your value stream is what should determine what your structure looks like. And um, you all know that there's a lot of disruption going on in all ecosystems right now. So you need to keep your eye on it and ensure that you are always watching to be sure nothing has changed, to be sure that what you are doing is still efficient, is still effective, and can lead you to where you want to go. That is point number one when it has to do with people. Point number two should be effective organizational assets. Yes, I am taking this second because sometimes all the first thing you actually try to do is just to organize your team in one formation or the other just to get you to where you are going. Only when you have crossed that bridge are you then able to now start remembering what's your vision, what's your mission. But even in a situation where you are able to do that before you go too far, Still, after you have set up the team, you need to go and revisit your organizational assets. They must be effective. What does that mean? They must communicate what you are trying to say. And like I said in some of the videos, you know about vision, you know about mission, but I want to add two things for you. The third one has to do with behavior. You need to take that uh, value and translate it into what does it mean? So when we say customer service, what does it really mean? When we say integrity, what does it really mean? Break it down into specific behavioral expectations. Let the team know what you are talking about and help them to practice it. What will you get? That's the second thing I want to add, culture. You must be deliberate about your culture. That determines what you reward. That determines who you promote. That determines how you keep going back and refining the value behavior matrix Effective organizational assets are indispensable. They are the glue that puts you together with your team and heading you in the direction that you like to head. That will be number two. Unfortunately, I have to stop here because I'm trying to avoid two long videos. Next video, I hope I'll be able to run through the other three so that you are clear whichever point you are in your journey of building your enterprise, you are clear as to the critical essence of the people in your organization and the things that you can do to achieve the kind of team and human resource that you will really be proud of and that will make it easy for you to achieve your dream. Thanks for being here once again this week. We need to hear from you. Let's know how we are connecting with you and what sense we are making to you. And if you know anyone who needs to know about this, please feel free to share. And if you have also specific questions you want us to help you address, go to the Telegram channel and share your question with us and we will be very glad to respond to you. I hope to see you next week. And until then, don't ever forget that t Mark is still my name and all I'm trying to do is what? Make a little difference. Thanks for being here this week and see you next week. Bye.